ChatGPT helps me tackle the stuff that I'm not great at or would honestly rather eat glass than attempt to do, like ideal client avatar targeting, sentiment analysis, market research, pain point objection handling, business jargon, plus every other soul-crushing business task perfectly suited for robots and people who are not me. The main reason I use ChatGPT and other AIs like it is because they're incredibly good at making sense of complicated, messy information. It's like having a supercharged filter that can sort through more knowledge than I could ever hope to gather in a lifetime. It finds the gold I need, filters out the crap, and gives me back the answer in whatever format actually makes sense to me, in whatever format that I request. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to instruct ChatGPT to conduct deep, meaningful business research that would cost us tens of thousands of dollars if we had to hire a marketing research firm, which you and I, as small business owners and self-employed entrepreneurs working out of their mildly depressing realtor gray spare bedroom simply cannot afford to do. Now, this is one of the most useful prompts that I've cobbled together. You run it once, export the output, and refer back to the results every time you're writing copy, planning content, or checking off countless other mind-numbing marketing tasks, not the creative work that we signed up for. This prompt is slightly complex, but I'm going to go over it line by line so that you understand what it's doing and then give you a couple of examples of how you can use the results downstream to improve literally every aspect of your business without slamming your head into a wall. My name is Kevin Patrick Robbins. I'm a professional photographer and small business owner in Southern Ontario. I studied marketing and strategic planning and entrepreneurship in university. These are all skills that I've used in my business from designing websites to running one of the leading improv comedy training centers in Canada and now to running my own professional photography business. Now what I can tell you after almost three decades of being a business owner and an artist is that I really hate marketing myself. I hate doing all the stuff that you have to do to be successful at marketing and make your marketing work for you which is why this prompt is going to tackle what I think are the two most aspects of marketing, developing client personas, what some people might call client avatars, but I hate that term, and researching client concerns and analyzing sentiment. And this is the stuff salespeople might call objections and pain points, which is another ridiculous term that I hate. Anyway, so client personas and sentiment analysis, two of the most important parts of any marketing strategy. Literally, your entire marketing strategy needs to be built on these foundations. I'd be willing to bet that a lot of you didn't know these terms before this video even started or feel exactly like I do and never bothered to do this and now your marketing house sits on rocky ground with no foundation. And if we did try to do this ourselves, it's probably not good or even accurate. I'm a photographer, a comedy teacher before that, and a web designer before that. Most small business owners, if we even attempt this process, create client personas by guessing, or we fill out a worksheet that we found online that asks questions like, uh, where does your ideal client shop? Which, let's be honest, if we already knew this, we wouldn't need to do research or build personas to figure out who our ideal clients are. We're typically not our ideal clients, so how would we know where our ideal clients shop? So let's say you run an ultra luxury portrait photography studio, you think your clients wear Gucci instead of Cesar Adelini, or drive BMWs instead of Singer 911 Resto Mods. You're gonna be wasting your time and money targeting the completely wrong people. And yeah, I had to look up those brands because I don't have a million dollars to drop on a custom vehicle. I am not an ultra luxury client. The whole point of this prompt is to help you and I identify who our clients actually are, how they actually think, what they actually care about, and how they actually talk about their problems. We're gonna use ChatGPT to help develop ideal client personas and then use those personas to perform sentiment analysis of real online discussions, testimonials, and reviews from real people who match our ideal client personas. Now the result will be a detailed snapshot of our ideal client's mindset, language, frustrations, and values, all written in plain English so we can actually use it. Okay, so let's go through the prompt together and I'll show you how it works, how to customize it for yourself and your business, and a few ways to use the results downstream. Okay, so we start with a few simple questions. First of all, who's requesting the research? That's you. So you're just gonna keep it simple and say something along the lines of, I'm a self-employed wedding photographer. Then uh, what kind of organization is it here as we're gonna 
going to describe your business type, your size, and who you serve. For example, a photography business serving engaged couples in Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. The next question, what systems are already in use? So this is helpful context for ChatGPT to tailor the advice that it gives you. For me, I might say something like, I have a Squarespace website, I use Instagram, and I use Sprout Studio to manage my leads, clients, and sessions. Then we get to a key question, what kind of work do you want to focus on? And who is usually involved in that work? What this does is it doesn't ask you who your ideal client is, it asks you what it is that you want to do, and then it will help identify who your ideal client is. So for example, I might say, I love small candid outdoor weddings with adventurous couples and value storytelling over posed photos. Next, well, we're gonna move into part two, and this is the actual assignment. And this has two parts to it. The first part is about creating the ideal client persona. ChatGPT will build a detailed profile or multiple profiles of your best fit clients based on common behavioral and marketing research principles. It's gonna look at things like demographics, lifestyle, communication habits, and what uh, drives their decisions, what motivates them. And then part two is the sentiment analysis itself. And this is where the prompt really shines because we're asking ChatGPT to scan reviews, forums, uh, social media posts, anything that's public and relevant to get a sense of what our ideal client personas value, what frustrates them, and how they talk about people in your industry. So it's not just what they do, it's what's missing for them. How do they really feel about the service providers that they have dealt with in the past? Then we're gonna give it some objectives. We want a clear and actionable persona. We want to understand the emotional triggers and preferences that drive decisions. We want insight into how people view your industry and your competitors. And we want everything to be useful and not just interesting. I want everything that I do and spend my time on to be practical and not hypothetical. So after that, we're gonna narrow the focus. We tell ChatGPT to prioritize buyer behaviors, emotional motivators, and how uh, your service is perceived. We specifically ask it not to give us generic demographic stats that aren't tied to real client behavior. It also needs to include certain things. We want it to include basic profile info like age and life stage, what platforms they use, what motivates them to buy, and common objections or unmet needs in their purchasing decisions. Then we're going to lay down some technical rules. We want to only use real data. We want to pull language from actual reviews, posts, and content that your audience would engage with. And we want no guessing. If it's not supported by real language, then leave it out. And then this is where we're going to ask for how the results are delivered. The report should be structured and easy to scan. It should feel like something that a solo creative could actually use, not corporate and not academic. You want to be able to read the report and understand the report. It can include visuals like diagrams or quote highlights as long as they make the insights easier to understand. You don't want visuals that are going to confuse you and, and make things more complicated for you. As for citations, I want them listed at the end in a proper appendix so we have all our sources and we can refer back to them and ChatGPT can refer back to them later as well. I don't want inline citations anywhere in the report. And finally, everything should be easy to come back to later. So whether that's for writing copy for your website, planning an email sequence, uh, creating a new offer, whatever it is that involves marketing towards this ideal client persona, this report is gonna be incredibly useful. So now we need to suggest an outline for the report. And we're gonna start with a short executive summary, define what research was done and why. Next, build the client persona with labels, demographics, lifestyle traits, and communication preferences. Then we're gonna break down down what people are saying, both the emotional highs and the pain points, the, the points of frustration. From there, ChatGPT is going to give you strategic recommendations based on what it found. And finally, it's going to close with the appendices where all the sources, quotes, and extra visuals are going to live. And now the last part of this prompt is just a few rules. Again, no fake quotes, only real content, keep the language human, and put all the sources at the end nowhere else. I, I don't like sources scattered within my report. So once you drop your own info into the context section, 
you can copy and paste the rest exactly as it is and drop it right into ChatGPT or Google Gemini or Anthropic Cloud or whatever you use. So once you've run the prompt and saved your report, what do you actually do with it? This report isn't meant to sit in a folder on your computer. This is where it gets useful fast. That report becomes your go-to reference every time you use ChatGPT to develop something for your business. You want to keep coming back to it, using it for lead generation, structuring landing pages, outlining email sequences, shaping your offers, and so much more. If it has to do with marketing, this sentiment analysis is important. Okay, so for example, let's say you're building a content calendar. You can drop this sentiment analysis into ChatGPT and say, based on this analysis and these personas, give me 26 blog or video topics that speak to their core frustrations, values, and questions. Prioritize topics with high educational value that show empathy and authority. So now you're not just posting content for the sake of it, you're creating things that your audience actually wants to read or watch if you're shooting video. And if you're a photographer like me, you can take those topics and run them through the frameworks that I've outlined in my ebook, The Ultimate SEO Guide for Photographers. That'll help you turn audience insight into SEO friendly content that's also strategic and not just stuffed with keywords. I'll link to the ebook in the description below, but you can also use this QR code to get yourself a copy. Together, the sentiment analysis, research, and my SEO guide will give you a really solid system. You can also use the report to, let's say, refine your service packages. Let's say the sentiment analysis shows that your audience is overwhelmed by too many choices or that they're unsure of what's actually included. You can paste the report into ChatGPT and say, based on these concerns and decision motivators, suggest three ways I could restructure or reframe my packages to make them easier to understand and more aligned with what my clients actually care about. Suddenly, your packages aren't built around what you think people want. They're built around what they've already said they need. And that's what this whole thing is about. I don't love marketing, but I do love when the right people find me, trust me, and feel like the work is already halfway done before we even meet. Take this YouTube channel, for example. If you are finding this video helpful, it would be great for you to subscribe and to click like so that the algorithm knows that you want to see more videos like this. Now, if you want to grab this prompt and use it in your own business, I've made this easy. There's a link in the description where you can copy the full prompt from my website. Either way, this is a prompt worth using. Now, if you found this helpful and you're ready to get even more out of ChatGPT, then watch this video here all about prompt technique next. I'll show you how to write better prompts, guide the model more clearly, and chain your instructions so that you get structured, usable results every time. It's the missing piece that turns a single prompt into an actual workflow.